Hi there, everybody. Thanks for clicking on to the Patreon. You're talking to Veronica right now at the Upper Space, and I've got sitting with me Dwayne Timbers from Lockdown Records, and we're going to be talking to Slightly Intoxicated and Well and Wasted. Say hey, guys. Hey! Hey, what's up? Hey, hey how are you? Hello. How are you now? Awesome sauce. Okay, so I guess the best way to start, and thank you again to Dwayne. What is your involvement with Lockdown Records? I am vice president of Lockdown, Hamilton uh, Indie uh, Record Company. Just started off as a bit of a joke with our own band, Prior Convictions, you know, Lockdown Prior Convictions. And then uh, we were just doing some band camp, uh, you know, compilations, whatever, and got a good response from all the Ontario punk scene and started submitting music. So we started doing stuff on Bandcamp. And now it's taken off to producing CDs and uh, uh, you know, do compilations of bands, 75 on these four, and then uh, we're merging into vinyl now. So. That's exciting because, I, is it, correct me if I'm wrong, aren't vinyl sales surpassing CD sales right now? Absolutely. Yeah. So yeah. that's the next step. How does, uh, Jesse, how did you meet Dwayne? I met him today, technically. Technically? True. Technically. Yep. But isn't but, one of uh, your songs on these compilations? One of our songs is on number four, actually. But uh, what initially had happened, really, is that we are very close with Well and Wasted. You know, we've shared jam spaces as well as jam friends. So they had been on that already. <laughs> so we saw they were looking for other bands. They said, submit your material. So we were like, yeah, why not? We're going to do it. And they liked one of our songs. Which is um, not addicts. Yeah, it was addicts. Yeah. So they liked our song addicts and were, like stoked to have it on anywhere. Really, it's just fun. Like, we wrote it. We wrote a song and it's, someone wanted to have it on the CD. We're like, yeah, take it, <laughs> do it. <laughs> Woo! Publicity. Yeah. 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 What yeah. about the guys? Let's let's introduce the guys from Wall and Waste in here. I've got the lead singer sitting next to me. What is your name, my good man? My name is Morgan Tady. Morgan Tady. Uh, Robbie Wasted. Jay wasted. Phil. Chris P. Bacon. And I party. Sorry, what did you say yeah. your name was? Chris yeah. P. Bacon. Chris P. Bacon. And the P stands for poop. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, it does. Chris poop. P. P. Bacon. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, let's get started here with just general. The first rule of Fight Club is you do not talk about Fight Club. Correct? You've all seen this movie. Yeah, What's the second right. rule? I don't know what you're talking about. That only technically applies if you're in Fight Club. Because if you're not in Fight Club, the first rule doesn't apply to you. I know. So you can talk about Fight Club. So you all have you a, but the second rule is you don't talk about it. Yeah, also. Yeah. Okay, so. Is this turning into a problem? Why am I so boring? Why am I so boring? Why am I so boring? Why am I going on No shirts. Everybody settle down. No shirts, no shoes. Um, no shirts. Are we taking shirts off, though? If you, could, if you could fight anyone, dead or alive, who would it be? Billy the Kid. Come on. Billy the Kid? Yeah. He'd be Herman. I think he was a little bitch. <laughs> I don't want to know if I'm going to win. If you didn't have Look up, take a fight, I'm not going to win. How do you know you're not going to win against Paul Rubens? I don't know, but it'd be worth trying. Yeah. Who would you fight? Oh, God. I kind of want to see him with Donald Trump. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Win or lose, you trust can get a couple in, right? I'd stand in line behind you, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's your time Actually, you could probably sign the group up for that one. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 I've been in a lot of fights, and I don't think I really want to fight anybody. Peter yeah. Dinklage. Peter Dinklage. It takes a lot of energy. <laughs> it takes a lot of energy. Why don't they beat the shit out of the door? It's too much. Uh, uh, it's a lot of work. Uh, I know. Uh, I know. Uh, and meanwhile, we're going to get all kinds so. of angry mail from the I feel like that's where you go. Peace. Peace, I'm all about peace. Uh, there you go. Except for your so skin. You, you will gravity. I fight. I try to fight gravity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay, what was your first exposure to punk? Um, I don't remember because I was uh, very intoxicated. <laughs> Slightly? No. Slightly? No, 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 that was very good. It was well in ways, very for big sure. <laughs> uh, live senior music, music, well, could have been the uh, upbringing that I had. My parents had to listen a little bit of punk music and old school stuff, and uh, live music, I've been a lot of live venues. The one that stuck up to me the most was obviously the Eats guys. Oh, cool! I take that to heart. I've grown it. In a good way. 
I still have one of your like sovereign blow jobs in the back room. <laughs> That would be considered I'm not lying. one of those bombs. <laughs> Whoa. How do you know it's not blowing up balloons? Right? Yeah, well, okay, good say. Jeez. Don't read into it. Don't no, touch your book by its cover. Don't the gutter. <laughs> Legit. No way. The long is there. <laughs> what was your first involvement in the punk scene, Wayne? What, what made you, uh, what was your first I grew, album? I grew up in small town Milton, and I remember there was these older kids, I was probably like, 14 years old, 15, and they rented the local uh, fairgrounds, the hall, whatever, and they just put a bunch of skids on the ground, plywood, and all the bands were just banging, jumping up and down. So that was my very first exposure. And that was the first night I got high, higher than a kite, <laughs> watching these guys jump up and down, these punk bands, and that was, I'm sold. And that, that was it. That's it. it. The the not it. speaking of drugs. No, no, no. no. He was high on drugs. And it's exciting. So I think it's what adrenaline too. Adrenaline, 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 adrenaline. Drugs are legal. Oh, they are. Oh, yeah. uh, at the time they weren't, though. I forgot. How do you know? Oh, is this true? Oh, your first concert was yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> no, he started, he started playing April 17, 2017. That's it. Yeah. yeah. That's when he started. That's the first time we ever did that. Never, yeah. Yeah. never okay. before. These questions are kind of coming random and off the cuff, kind of. Cool. Good. All right. Cool. And I'm not really sure who I'm going to direct, but I'm going to go for you. Bill! <laughs> <laughs> no. no. Okay. Of all the mythical creatures oh, wow. that we know to exist, possibly, which one is the most likely to exist? Oh, God. No. <laughs> Not Loch Ness. Loch Ness? Loch Ness? Loch Ness. Loch Ness? I'd go with Loch Ness. Yeah, that's, that's a deep sea thing. You don't really Anything know. Anything in the happening. water is generally. I've been to Scotland. Oh, yeah. We haven't seen the bottom most. Pound it! Hey, I was going to say Liger. <laughs> yeah, because, well, it's true. They do. Uh, I think Bigfoot, probably. Yeah, that's just oh, that's the a good one. Oh, that, I do love the Sand Squatch. The Sand Squatch. Yeah, Sand Squatch. Yeah, Sand Squatch. Sand Squatch plays sax in the, in the forest. Dude. I love Sand Squatch. Sand Squatch. Sand Squatch is very, very cool. Okay, well, you're going on a first date. I don't know your relationship status, but you're going on a first date with someone. Okay? You have a choice of either wearing socks and sandals, a turtleneck, or assless chaps. Which one do you want? Assless chaps. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hands down. Anybody in here could answer that. It has to be Are you Brazilian? No. No. Of course. What? No. Fuck no. Oh boy. Maybe not. Of course. That's kind of. Is something wrong with your sleeves? Yeah. 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 Well, was the socks and sandals? It's normally socks and sandals. No, you, you're wearing socks and sandals. Okay. Probably the shirt. Then, then the assless chaps. Assless chaps, the more exposure, the better. Yeah, more exposure. I'd wear a turtleneck, maybe. You like that most heat through the neck. <laughs> you do. <laughs> you do. How, you how many times can I reference Letter Kenny in this interview? I don't know. I think you're going to find out. Yeah. What was your first concert? Peter Potter, bud. Yeah. The first concert? First concert. The first punk rock show is. Uh, Human Shield, Forgotten Rebels, and I can't remember the other band name. I think it might have been the Bad Boys. Do you remember how long ago that was and where it was? It was the 90s. The 90s. <laughs> Somewhere in <right here. laughs> there. Mean, I was not allowed to pee in the bar at the time. I, I, I was definitely underage. And my, actually, I met, that's where I met both Frankie Brown and Nikki. I had, I was, I made an ass of myself. I had two pictures in my hand, and they're like, dude, that's Nikki Sides. You're like, really? <laughs> Fucking walked over. Like, they pretty much had the end of the table. I walked over, just popped my ass down. Hey, I'm Chris. <laughs> I'm, I'm in Wild Wasted. What's <laughs> up? <laughs> this is back when you were 16. There was yeah. no. <laughs> no it's you like didn't even live in Holland. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. That's but like, the band that actually got me is like, really sucked me. Three stars? The restarts. 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 The <laughs> and my yeah. and, and, like, and your what? I bartered him my tube. And my tube. It was cold out. 
The first one was like, dude. Better. My book. <laughs> Mine was Kim the Canadian is what you could have said that. Yeah, like when Dude, I was I like, when I was like a little place. baby, my mom used to take me to like these bluegrass festivals. Yeah. So like yeah. she always yeah, the like around Crystal music Beach. and all that stuff. Crystal Beach. But Beach. my first big concert was Metallica. Like I was in grade yeah. seven, and I got this grade Metallica. seven. So that puts you what at twelve years old? Yeah, something concert. like that. Metallica. Yeah. <laughs> it was like it was good. That was the first big real. Okay. Holy shit! This is huge. Nice. That's a little bit bigger than that. Uh, yeah. I like the punk rock makers a little bit more or less like that. And mm. This is kind of a general question to everyone, and you can think and spitball answers as much as you want. Other than punk influences, what else, what other genres influence that maybe come seeking in? I'm a metalhead. Complete metal. metalhead? Bottom metal. Yeah. Industrial. 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 Yeah. 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 Who's your favorite industrial? Uh, ministry or can FPM? It's a hard so. yeah. You and I will have excellent conversations. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what about you guys? Uh, like so much stuff. Uh, well, so 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 much stuff. Start writing it off. Think think of uh, your. Uh, I like, 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 uh, what's on your playlist? Like bass driven jazz. I like funk <laughs> music. I like rock music. I like metal Same music. But I don't like metal to where you can't quite understand what they're saying. What? Or if they write their name and. Oh, whatever that shit is. Yeah. 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 yeah, whatever that is. I don't like that shit either. Yeah. If, it's, if I can't read your name, I'm not going to listen to your shit. You're not a DJ but guy. No, no. <laughs> Seven strings is more than enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you don't need nothing. Over and above that, like, boom, ping. I'm a bass player. Like, anything with, like, a pronounced bass sound. Like, honestly, I like drum and bass. I like R&B. I like rap. Some of it. <laughs> Big Some fan of it. it. It's okay to admit that you like I'm all kinds of music. I'm not admitting <laughs> shit everyone knows. Yeah. Like, everyone knows what, like, I have a huge range of what I like to listen to. You go in my car right now, and the last song was like, I love uh, Excision or something. I'm sure, Lois. If it's a good yeah. song, you'll yeah. listen to it. Exactly. Yeah. What's good is good. Yeah. What's not is good. And you're going to read it. Yeah, exactly. Ooh. Exactly. So, you know, absolutely. you know what really influenced me a lot? Mm. 80s theme songs from TV shows. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite? 18? 18. My team was mine. 18. Mine would have that to be Perfect Strangers. Uh, the Little West Hobo. Hobo. Uh, <laughs> nice. 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 Have one remind, reminder of it. I can always still hear the mash theme song. Oh my yeah. god, that was bad. Oh, suicide is pain. Yeah, man, I can Long always still hear that. Like, that just is. one reminder of it. One little thing I see in my room. Right? Like, it's just that quick. It's that, like, that same shit. That was bad time. I love it. My mash theme song. Oh, mash theme song. Oh, I got to go to bed. <laughs> is there a cover of a song that you're contemplating on doing that's nope. completely no. out of? No, you guys never, well, you never consider doing a cover. We don't. <laughs> we but even like to turn it into something. Way to go, Chris. We oh, hate you hate covers? I, oh, I, I had an idea for it. I don't do covers. Okay, so what was your idea? I, I was no. fooling around <laughs> with the Absolutely idea. Absolutely not. <laughs> you know, I wanted to cover. <laughs> I, I, well, actually, me and Jay did it. We. Uh, we hey, Jay did it. We got it. Secrets. Oh. We punked out. <laughs> we punked out Bush's glycerine in his garage. We punked out a lot of shit. We did. Actually, <laughs> we did. Oh my yeah, god, that one was song so good. No. I st we still have it. It's on Facebook. I think. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. We, uh, had, we did Dragon's Eye Foundation. We did a whole bunch of spiders from Mars. Ooh, zombie, zombie spiders. Zombie spiders. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fucking classic. Uh, yeah. It's got great. It's got like four or five views on uh, on YouTube. So if actually, you're actually that's pretty good. Today, today, that was your today. It's going to skyrocket. That was both of our little ass seven second years ago. Double. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, oh, big time! I'm, I'll be waiting and for that check. check. Yeah. From YouTube, right? It's gotta come in. You get a quarter of a minute of space. Yeah. yeah. So Is that really good? That, I thought it was less. For the bands and the musicians that are out there that are interested in getting in on the Lockdown Records compilation jam, how does one go about getting in touch with you? Just 
reach out on our Facebook page or uh, Bandcamp page, just email us, whatever, reach out, private message. And, uh, what is your email? Uh, zombies are us at hotmail.com. Did you hear that? Nice. Zombies are, A-R-E-U-S, at hotmail.com. So not toys are us. <laughs> zombies are us. Yeah. Yeah. Zombies, zombies are yeah. us, full sentence. Full yeah. English words. We we've got words. yeah we've gotten bands from all obviously all around Ontario. We've got an American. We've gotten all over Europe now. We're getting bands from all around the world, and our, our comps are going out all around the world. They're they're out west. They're in the east coast. They're uh, in Germany right now. Some guy wanted uh, fifteen copies out there on his radio station down uh, down in the U.S. Uh, North Carolina. They're going everywhere, so yeah, we're doing stuff already. And this is uh, all non-profit. We don't do any profit. We just want to uh, pay for our, uh, our, you know, the overhead. The overhead, and then the rest goes to, toward the bands eventually. We had a huge show booked at the uh, uh, the, Cot the Caswell before the whole COVID nineteen hit. We had like two hundred tickets sold. Had all the stuff printed. It was going to be a big, big night for you know for us and for the bands, and of course this all happened, right? So. We'll wait for this to uh, you know get through it, and then we can uh, get back at what we were planning on doing with this. You know, yeah. getting getting bands heard, right? Because I think I was discussing with you earlier. When I grew up, I was with KTL Records. That's right. I'm not old. Yeah. And I remember like how old? Not old. Not old. Not old. Not old. Not old. Not old. I'm retired. That's all I'm gonna say. So, I had a, a song, Terry Jack, Seasons in the Sun. I love that song as a kid, wow. right? So I went and bought oh, KTL Records. And with that record, I found 10 other bands that I liked. So I went and bought their actual records. So I'm hoping that this will materialize to that, right? I've Same. always been a fan of the compilation record because the, you know, soundtracks or whatever, if, you, yeah. if you're unfamiliar with the genre and you want to know what you're going to get into, is I'm all over this. So there's I'm so many different it. kinds of punk bands, too. Oh, oh, there oh, is, yeah. there yeah. are. I mean, so many different kinds of sounds, you know, you got like the classic, like, Grunt Rebels, and you got the classic, like, Teenage Head, yeah. And then you got the hardcore bar, you know, so many different And then anywhere, like I know we're, we're totally Hot Canadian club. here, but you know, just SoCal to New York, it, the differences between oh, yeah. oh, is yeah. insane. So That's going from no effects to the front right there. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know? it's, yeah. it's, it's, the, it's the same. It's just no, like yeah. jazz. It's there's no certain type, man. It's whatever you're fucking, whatever you're into. Whatever you're into. Yeah. I've, I've never been a jazz or punk or any sort of genre. And if it's good, it's no, good. Yeah. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's It's just music. Yeah. Yep. They call us punk. We don't think we're a punk band. Technically, we don't think we're a punk band. You're a dance. But we've been called a band. And you're a jazz band. It's fun. 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 I call it more modern, modern, modern contemporary. contemporary. Like, I was really looking for the hot sound. You have to be an adult in this room. But if you listen to these <laughs> CDs, like, they're, they're, they're everything on there. Right? Yeah. We have everything. Yeah. Like, a bit of ska, a bit of hardcore, a bit of, you know, we don't know what we are. Right? You know, yeah. like, we have everything. It's amazing. Like, 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 Hotel Murder Knock 10 Connection. These are the songs. Yeah. No. First is the band, second is the. You got, you got Hotel Murder, Trauma Lanes, The Dominion, The Doomsday League. ASOP? I want to say ASOP. That's <laughs> what so I always say too. <laughs> Apple Seed something something. I can't remember their. Uh, oh, ASOP? Oh, abrasive that, Measures. That's recorded. I know. Smash you're going to have to apologize for yeah, yeah, you. I would spend the next 10 minutes rhyming off all the bands oh, if I did oh, yeah, this good. on here. Yeah. But yeah, I'm uh, all over these. But we're on there. And yep, prior convictions. Which we were supposed to play tonight, but our drummer is down and out, so we can't play as much as the demands. How has COVID affected everyone? Obviously, it's affected all of us big time, but as far uh, as new material and getting together for rehearsals, and does it affect you guys at all? Or do I'm you scared care? of these guys on the best of days. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm afraid that they're going to give me something. They kicked us I'm, out as soon as the thing went down, so we waited so long that when we finally got to jam, I was so excited that I spun around and smashed my tooth off the microphone. Yeah. <laughs> and I broke my tooth, and I couldn't get my dentist to fix it because... They were scared too. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's punk rock. My face yeah. swelled. That is the very tooth is st the tooth is still there. It's still there. Still there. Look. Uh, it's no, no, it's it's close up. There. Close up. Uh, it's a jazz story. Yeah. Yeah. There are dentists that will accept you now. I know. I know. I'll, I'll do it. I told you I'd do it. But how do you wear a mask when they're working on your mouth? 
But, uh, but that's, they wear masks and they have yeah, a thing and yeah. it's all, oh, it's I'm being stupid. Oh, no, but they make you wear, my, my place made <laughs> you me wear a mask face. from <laughs> the reception area <laughs> to, to the dentist room. Yeah. That made no sense. Oh, man. Like, but bro, you're about to be fingers deep in my mouth. How is this helpful? <laughs> yeah. yeah exactly. It's all kinds of talking mostly. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just hoping it just falls out naturally. Yeah. Don't worry about as soon as they start fucking around in there. Put his fingers in his mouth. Now, of all the questions that I kind of one shot, is there someone that wanted to answer a question? Like, you know, would you wear a turtle? Dan wants to answer the question. Or. I can go socks and sandals just because. Don't you do that? You already do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, say it's very good. I was going to do it here, but I said, yeah. oh, maybe I'll put you in. That's that on. already. Oh, uh, better not. <laughs> <laughs> it's just because I'm Italian. That's, that's the only reason. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. That was uh, uh, I'm not right, really. Well, well, I'm not like, quite 57, but my last oh, name is totally. It sounds totally Italian. <laughs> And you're also saying hey, Italian. Italian. I don't know. I, I, said, I, I was just about to crack down on that too. Is it Italian or I Italian? Well, when you're Italian, you say Italian. And when you're not Italian, you say Italian. Italian. I'm pretty sure. Italian. It's Italian. It's Italian. It's Italian. It's Italian. There is 100% of the possibility. No, you're right. Yeah. I actually, me and my wife, Kind of had a little anniversary the other day. We're not married because COVID, but we, so we had this oh. anniversary. Is that what you tell her? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I'm looking at, I'm that, looking was at that was a low blow. That was a low blow. Totally cut the video. You're not cutting it now. We're too far deep. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was my bad. That was a little much. Uh, I, I really tried to hold it in. I tried. I tried to hold it in. Oh, oh, sorry. Shit. <laughs> Yeah, okay, next question. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I love you, baby. Well, uh, whatever shit you get into, I am sorry. Right? Oh, yep. uh, um, 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 why do you want to see yourself in five years? <laughs> alive! I want to be alive in five years. Actually, yeah. <laughs> I want to be alive. Ideally, but, at this point, that's what we hope for. Well, nobody answered that question right five years ago. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. What are you going to be in five years sitting in a basement apartment <laughs> doing nothing because I'm not allowed? Yeah. Do you guys have any goals where you something you guys want to do within this musical journey? Like, <laughs> like, do you want to go rebellion? Do you want to go to punk rock Vegas? I want to play punk rock bowling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Have you guys applied? No, we should. Yeah. I filmed a band in Hollywood. Uh, I know you Bad Waitress. Nice. They were called the, uh, the Dirty Dog, but now they're called Bad Waitress. Yeah. Simple band like us. Yeah. And they play. They're playing this year. Wow. Yeah. So I don't know. All bands I've been talking to apply. Let's get down there. If there was a local band at Rebellion. I think last that year. would be a Ooh. great idea. I can't remember. I they're from the from. I want to say Hamilton Burlington. I managed to get in a rebellion past like my girlfriend and I we went last year. Right, was you were there last year? That was the one over. I see Morgan. Morgan. It's you. No. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. I was in the I was yeah. no, I was in the yeah, was that rebellion. Rebellion. Oh rebellion, sorry, I thought you said <laughs> in five years. Oh, you're stuck with You're stuck with You mentioned rebellion. I'm like, yeah, I'm totally down for the rebellion. That'd be one of my goals in my journey. I want to do you know, blues or fast or rebellion or Vegas. Every fast is something good. Yeah, festivals. All the time. I want to play music again in front of a crowd and not. Yeah, yeah, in a shitty bar. No, I love it here. Yeah, the only you guys are there. It's people. That's yeah. Wow. Yeah. I want to play you guys. I want to see you like this. My mom was an hour away. First of all, I'm literally just going to palm someone's face. You're real. Oh, my God, thank you. I needed that. Just palm them. Straight up, straight to their forehead. Like, what's that guy's like? I'm taking your brain. Of all the favorite, of all the places that you've played, joints, whatever cities, what's been your favorite place to play? I like the Doors. Doors Pub. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. I mean, I mean, uh, he's gonna invest some money to get an appointment for something. Yeah, their tacos you are so good. The tacos. It's all about the food for this. The only reason why. That's the taco. And wasn't the OV? You guys drink OV there, right? I don't drink beer. What? You drink seltzer. <laughs> These guys are the OV guys. I mean, they are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the others. It's, it's the OV. others. It's on. It, we have a shirt. Yeah, we we like yes. to have. Uh, yeah. That's totally. What I can see right us <laughs> doing a knockoff of the white claw. We should do that. Well and wasted. Oh right, man. Well and wasted. That's For like, all the Kyles. That's, that's like I drink. That's stuff like just before they like punch water. That's like well and canal water. Oh, it's so good. That's what we could call it. It's dangerous. Canal water. Water. So what what venues are in this area that are available to us? Like Hamilton, all well, we got knocked now ever since you know the St. Hollywood. Oh, man, that was, was my favorite. That was my favorite. Number two, yeah. second, number two. But now all we have is the Casbah, which isn't really a punk rock bar. There's, There's another place that a buddy of mine is. We're we we're supposed to play there. It's uh, I think it was skate park. So it's not. A, I don't know if it's an actual venue venue, but it's, it's an indoor skate park. And we met you at the garage party though. That yeah. was a cool venue. Uh, yes. Is that back alley? Yeah, it just started out. Yeah, that, that was that was. We were gonna be cool. like its yeah. first or second that was show. Weird. There's people on the top, but that's the way things are gonna go now, right? It's DIY. Well, they're gonna do the, 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 the farm, the fields, oh. or skate parks, or yeah. private property. That, that's totally that's, that's future, I think, of this music. We're, we're gonna do it. Not even the right kind of band to play skate park. We can't do it anywhere else, so we're just gonna go. Maybe not a skate park. You know what is that the cover? Uh, the bovine. The bovine was. Yeah. Oh my god. The bovine, yeah. Everything on the walls was. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's so good. Yeah, the bovine. And Deanna is amazing. We totaled the car. Remember we totaled the car that day? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or that was the next That was the day, day after. Yeah, I, 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 we almost died on the highway. On the way home. So, Casbah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Doors Pub. And the park that we got left in Hamilton. Up. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Drawing up a draw was going to get worse within the next six months. Like, oh, yeah. so the CDs was going to close. Like, they're they're to that's that's CDs, kind of where Well and Wasted the name came from because Well and had a bunch of bars. It had a bunch of clubs and places where you could play, but then and now we do. all the jobs mm -hmm. disappeared. Now we do. Bars, we're, so we're more of a retirement community. Is that what we don't need to die? So we're, we're yeah. trying to push. We're going 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 to push. We're trying to wake we'll up. We'll play in Hamilton or wherever else they want to let we're, us play. Oh, we're, we're, we're totally with the Warriors and that. What, what about Bob Richards? Let us play! Let us play! Yeah, we were going to rent that for a second, no, but. Yeah. yeah. But the, the shit with the mid. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. you can't have too many people in there. You know what? All venues are good, and but what makes it bad is the booker and the venue owner. Great booker and Destroys a venue. Yeah. Christy. Big booker. Yeah, I can show you how to see for me. Like, sure, the yeah. owner, actually. Yeah. Whatever, or the venue owner can really make it fucking, excuse me, really crap. Yeah, it's, it's just, tough. It's just, like, not even enjoyable to be. It's tough. It can ruin everything. And, like, music's the best thing we do, right? But, like, to have it a downer sure, to be out to play music for someone that's, like, real, being real crap is, like, you could have stayed home and had way more fun. Yeah. Could have played in the basement, uh, man. And got paid the same. Yeah. Check it out. <laughs> what a shit. So you didn't go. I didn't go with the debt. That was the problem. Yeah. yeah. We didn't have to <laughs> pay to get there. there. Yeah. Do well, sometimes else. people show up and give you a beer. Yeah, that's. So it's like good, you know, drink tickets. Yeah. <laughs> Which is. Yeah. Sometimes people show up in your jam and be like, I only brought beer. We are going to wrap this up. As much as I am having so much fun yeah. sitting with you guys. Don't wrap it up. Really, oh. really super <laughs> stoked. Stoff. Wrap it up. Looking forward. Bandcamp Facebook. Check us out. Bye. Bye. 75. 75. 75. The the Ontario basket. punk bands. Woo. Check them out. I'm Veronica from the Upper Space. Christy Hales is uh, recording us right now. You can catch us on Patreon. You should be watching us on Patreon right about now. And super stoked to listen to these guys perform tonight. Thanks a whole bunch. Thank you. Woo! Yeah!